<laughs> All right now. When you when you when, when you reading and with the stuff that you read, mm. it, it, it takes it takes some work for us to change. Yes, it does. You gotta have a desire to. Amen. Gotta be willing to. Mm -hmm. When we look at our scripture today, Paul is trying to walk us through this taking the next step. Yes. Paul says that in, in, in eleven in verse eleven he says according to the eternal the, the, the purpose within uh, in which he has a uh, accomplished in uh, accomplished in Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Paul said it's an eternal thing. Mm -hmm. You know what eternal means? It means it's never ending. Right. It goes on and on and on. God, God says I got a purpose for you. And, 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 and it's eternal in the heavens. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to work with you. And he goes on and says in 12, he says, by the, uh, in whom we have boldness. Mm -hmm. So we can come to Christ in boldness. We can be bold in our pursuits of our change, can't we? Yes, Why? Why does Paul say? He said, because we have access. Mm -hmm. Huh? We got access to what? To the power of a risen Savior. Amen. Amen. Am I boring y'all this morning? No. no. You know, I'm, I'm trying to work this out here. Yes. Things I got is a little rough, but the uh, yes. uh, truth of the matter is, is that it's time for us to take that <coughs> next step. Amen. Yes. We, we've been trodden in the same old stuff, and, 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 and God has given us everything that we need. Yes, he has. We got access to the power of God. Amen. If, if you're a Christian... You got access. Yes, you have accepted to everything. Not, yes, not just changing in the church, but changing your life. Yes. A lot of times we stuck where we are because nothing in our life has gotten better. All right. we, we came to Christ a long time ago, but we're still struggling with the same old bad habits. Yes. Still, still hanging out with the same old bad folk. Mm -hmm. And we have not received the power of God yes. in our lives. But Paul says we got access. We can come to the throne of God with boldness. Yes. That means you don't have to be timid, darling. Yes. Don't mean that you don't have to be afraid. <laughs> that, 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 that means that you don't have to worry about what folk going to say, how people right. going to look at you. Amen. You can be different in Christ Jesus. Yes. Yes. Amen. A lot of us don't change because uh, uh, anything that's new and unfamiliar to us, it scares us. Right. Don't know how to handle it. I don't know how far I can, I don't know how far I can go with that way. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we, we got them, them little protectors. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Ooh. That little crutch that we keep. Right. Huh? Yeah. Little crutch that we, 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 we developed out in the world. Yeah. And we bring that to a spiritual setting. On, we All still right. got a little sharp little tongue. We know, yeah. we, know how to, what we, got, we know how to get people up off of us. Huh? Uh -huh. Come on, huh? Amen. Right. We, st we still got some language. We don't. We may not say it out loud, but it's yeah. sure showing inside. Yeah. Ain't that right? Yes. Time to change. It's hard time to make that next step. Amen. Paul says, I'm going to do in Jesus Christ, you got everything that you need. Yes. Everything that you need. He says, you got, look what Paul says over here. Uh, it, Paul says, I have suffered in 13. says, I have suffered much tribulation on our behalf. Uh -huh. And Paul said, don't get worried with it. I've been, I've been through some things. Paul said, I didn't went through some stuff. That you may be better. Yeah. Look at it. He didn't. He, he, the boss said, I didn't, I've been beat on. Mm -hmm. I've been rocked. I've been stoned. I've been put through all kinds of things that you may hear the truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. That that you don't have to go through. I went through. Mm -hmm. And then he said, Now look what Jesus went through for you. Mm -hmm. And still we had seemed to be entrapped with the same old sinful things. Mm -hmm. Still let Satan whoop us up and beat us up. Yeah. Amen. Y'all y'all don't hear me today, do you? But, but and we stay in this in this stuck in this mud of the world beating on our behind. Come on now. And we wonder what we're gonna do. Well, I'm telling you what you're gonna do. It's time to move to the next step. All right. Amen. If you if you're struggling with with any part of life, uh, Jesus said, I come to give you life and life more abundantly. Huh? Yes, do, do, do you think yes, he lied about that? No. He said, I come to give you life, and you don't even have to fight for it. Yeah. He says, you're more than conqueror through Christ Jesus. Yeah. 
Yay. But it's time for us to take that next step to why we are the conquerors who are receiving the blessings rather than we out here fighting for a crown. Yeah. All right. Amen. It's time to take the next step. Get up off of that, that oh, I can't do attitude and I, I, I can't, can't do this and I can't do that attitude. And, and get a can-do attitude. We, we need to wear it on our chest. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. And Paul goes on in here and he says, listen, listen to it. He says, I think it's 16, he said that, that, that he would uh, grant you according to his riches and glory that, that you be what? Strengthened. Strengthened. Huh? With might through his spirit in the what? In a man. Ain't talking about going down to Gold's Gym or while building up your muscles. But building up your inside muscles that you'll be strengthened in Christ Jesus. That the word of God will dwell in you richly. That, that you don't have to ever be ashamed of anything. That you don't have to have to take a back seat to anything or anybody. Say that, that, that you don't have to feel like you're superior or inferior to anything. Because right. through Christ Jesus, you've been strengthened. Yes. That means when you're strengthened, you can stand yes, through Lord. some stuff. Yes. Everything that come your way don't knock you down. Right. Huh? Huh? Right. Everything that come your way don't get the best of you. Yes. Hey Amen. You know, that's some stuff out there you can't beat. I've been trying to beat this old, old sinus of cold all week. I can't beat it. But I can live through it through I'll Christ like Jesus. Amen. I'll like that. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I can keep on going on. Yeah. I don't get to the point where I get depressed. Uh, because I don't feel good. Yeah. And I don't sit around and let the world beat on me because I don't feel good. All oh, poor me. No, ain't no poor me. No. I am rich. I got strength yes. through Christ Jesus. Yes. I, I got power through Christ Jesus. Yes. Paul says we need to move to the next step. Yes. We've been we've been playing the, the, the little baby too long, you know. It, it's time for you to put down your, your baby bottle. Yes. Mm. Yes. Amen. Now 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 if you don't understand what foods you need to eat, then you need to hold on to your bowel. But the word said, I'm, I'm feeding you with milk because you can't take solid food. You got to move here. You got to get off of that milk. It's time for you to get something that's going to help you to get stronger and be able to stand. Even when the wise of the devil come, we, you need to put on the whole arm. Ain't that right? Well, pa Paul went on and he says in, in uh, I think it's 18, that we, we need to be rooted, that you may be able to to comprehend with all saints. Mm -hmm. What is what? The width, the, width, the length, length, and depth, and, depth, and, depth and, height. and height. To know the love of Christ with us, what? Surpasses knowledge, knowledge that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Amen. 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 So when we have the word of God dwelling within us, mm -hmm. We got something to fight with. Amen. We got something to stand with. We got something that 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 inner man that he, he got something on the inside, something on the inside that works with you on the outside. Yes. But if you ain't got nothing on the inside. The outside gonna wear you out. Amen. Amen. Because things ain't gonna go the way you think they should go every day. Right. There gonna be some days when they just go bad. Right. I heard Brother Palmer say, "Up one day and yeah. down the next." Sometimes you up and down on the same day. Sometimes you go up, down, up, and in, down. But whatever it is, if you got Christ on the inside of you, strengthening you, you can withstand. Huh? And you can stand and count the victory. Amen. So, 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 so moving to the next step means you got to do some stuff. Huh? And I just got a couple of things that Paul says you need to do. First thing he says, you, uh, you, you, you got to understand that you can't get where God wants you to be as long as you stand where you are. Mm -hmm. You got to be willing to move huh, off of that little block that you own. Amen. All right. How you do that? Well, if, if you, if you, if you want to learn a new thing, you got to be willing to learn something. That's right. Huh? 
Amen. If you want to uh, be able to use the word of God to effectively change your life, then 